Good morning! I hope you guys are having a good day. This is a first impression video of the Saucony Freedom 3. Roll the beauty side. <laughs> Now, before we delve into the freedom, be sure to subscribe for more running related content. A couple of years back, Adidas made the first whole midsole with TPU pellets. They call it the Boost. Saucony has the same technology and they've called it the Everrun for a long time. The Freedom was their first time making a full midsole TPU pellet Everrun, whatever you want to call it, running shoe. Before that, they actually put the Everrun material in the core of the shoe, so inside the midsole, and then they put EVA foam around it. This actually creates a lot more stability in the shoe and makes a better shoe, a much better shoe than Adidas made. But because of Adidas' big, big marketing power, uh, the Adidas Boost was a success. And Saucony wanted to jump on top of that and use that as much as possible. Saucony did it a different way than Adidas did and they made it into a natural running shoe. With the Everrun material being so flexible, this was a natural first step. So they gave the shoe a four millimeter heel drop and made it a little bit looser and less controlling than in other shoes. So just like New Balance does, this was first of all a tester. Marketing hype is there for a reason, right? When companies are good at marketing, it doesn't matter if the shoe is good or not. We've seen this time and time again, it's actually not the most marketed shoe that is the best normally. For the last couple of years, Nike and Adidas haven't been that great. Apart from that really, really fast shoe, there hasn't actually been that much. But everybody's running in them anyways. And that's because they're very, very good at marketing. So the marketing hype really worked with the Freedom and it was an instant success. Because of that, Saucony thought, hmm, yeah, let's put it into the Triumph and the Hurricane. So they made the ISO 4 Hurricane and Triumph, and we all know how that went. Yeah. Anyways, Freedom was a hit, and that meant that Freedom wasn't a tester shoe anymore. So Freedom became top model, top choice, more of a marketing hype shoe, but still one of the top models. And that meant Freedom 2 became very conservative, we put it into our shop and we couldn't sell anything. We weren't that impressed with the Freedom 2. The Ride and the Triumph did a lot better. But now in the Freedom 3, there's a lot of new changes and that's why I'm giving it another shot. So what's new in the Freedom 3? So the Freedom 3 has removed the Everrun midsole and put in the Power Run Plus midsole, which is fabulous in the Triumph 17. This makes the shoe lighter, more bouncy, more cushioning, and actually a little bit more stable. Second of all, the ISO fit, the upper that has been criticized a lot the last couple of years, has been removed, and the new Form Fit 360 upper is sort of the same material, but just a better hold. And compared to Freedom 2, this one actually has a heel cap. You can't actually push down the heel anymore. So it's a lot more stable in the heel. And because of everything, it's lighter. So four really good new features in this shoe. It seems that everything in this version makes the shoe better, but that doesn't make it into a good shoe yet. So here's my first impressions. I've had it for a week, but I've only had the ability to run twice in it so far because I have a lot of other shoes and some races and stuff as well. I've had a little bit of an issue running in the shoe. It feels light and nice to run in, but it's, uh, it's very, very flexible. 
and you can actually feel that when running and it doesn't help you forward. So this has been a problem with a lot of those um, TPU foam shoes. And that's why all those big companies started talking about high energy return a couple of years ago. It's just a made up thing to hide the energy loss that you actually get from a soft, soft shoe. This shoe is very, very soft and it makes it a little bit hard to run faster in. So um, I tried to run fast today, it became a cruiser day. I couldn't run fast in it. It might be a bad day, so I'm not gonna judge it right now, but from my first impressions, it's not a fast shoe. So the FormFit 360 upper is really, really nice. It really grips around the foot, but the fit is more similar to a fashion running shoe. Uh, and by that, I mean that it's tighter and it doesn't give a lot of space uh, for your foot. And that is the exact opposite of a natural running shoe, which gives your feet the chance to go out and spread your toes. So it's tight, but it's nice. So overall, first impression, it didn't blow me away. It feels nice. Uh, I can't wait to try it out the next couple of weeks. If you like my video, then please give it a thumbs up. If you're into these kind of shoe related videos, then consider subscribing. If you have any comments about the shoe, then write to me in the comments down below. Anyways, have a great day, have a fantastic run, and then I'll see you next time. Bye.